What's going on everyone? My name is Sam Eckholm, and for those of you who don't know, I am currently an officer serving active duty in the United States Air Force. Now for this video, I thought it'd be fun to do a little reaction style, kind of a deep dive breakdown of the United States Air Force Academy's basic cadet training. Now, if you're interested in the military and it doesn't matter which branch, you're gonna have to do some sort of basic cadet training. Now it does depend whether you go officer or enlisted, but in the case of this video, we're gonna be looking at the Air Force Academy, which is a four year university located in Colorado Springs, which pumps out about a thousand officers for the Air Force every single year. Now, if you're interested in the Air Force Academy, I actually made an entire video talking about it, which you can check out right here. But in a nutshell, like I said, it's located in Colorado Springs, it's a four year university, and when you graduate, you become a officer in the US Air Force. But before you get there, you have to go through basic training. It's a six week program located in Colorado Springs that really kind of takes that high school student who has no military experience and turns them into someone who can really be a future officer in our Air Force. Drop down, give me 25 push up now. So as an Air Force Academy graduate myself and someone who went through this basic training just a few years ago, I thought it'd be fun to take a look at this video, to walk you through it, to dissect it, and and really just give my reaction to Air Force Academy's BCT. So I say we go ahead and get started here. All right, Air Force Academy basic cadet training. <laughs> so to kind of set the scene for you guys and show you what you're looking at right now, this is what's called in processing day. So day zero essentially of the Air Force Academy experience. All the cadets and you can see their families kind of in the back there just came, right? It's their very first day. So they in processed in the building in the background, it's called Doolittle Hall. And they're jumping on this bus ride here, which is the infamous Air Force Academy bus ride, about ready to get their whole experience started. Have I made myself clear? Yes, yes sir. All right. So the individuals in the back there in the blue uniforms, those are the basic cadet training cadre, right? So those are upperclassmen. Looks like he's a, a junior, a senior at the Air Force Academy, and he's in charge of kind of running the whole program, right? And this bus ride, man, this takes me back. Um, <laughs> this is famous. You can find a lot of other videos on it. You get on this bus and you turn a corner and the upperclassmen just kind of just turn it on, just flip that switch. And that's really when you get that culture shock of crap, you know, I'm, I'm officially in the Air Force right now. So. You'll see, kind of look at the look on their faces there, you know, sitting at attention in the seat. W. Nielsen. Oh man. Welcome to basic cadet training. Your first step towards becoming an officer in the world's greatest air force. Heritage includes warriors like Lieutenant General Robert D. Beckel, Lieutenant General Oh, this was a scary bus ride. Captain Lance P. Sijon, Captain Balmore Pork, and First Lieutenant Carl W. Richter. Yeah, you can see their faces all serious. Okay, so what's happening now, and I'll pause right here, these are the footprints. This is the, the core values ramp. This is kind of the academy's signature area to look at. You see the back, it says integrity for service before self, excellence and all we do. This is the footprints. This is where you go. This is where you begin your Air Force Academy experience. Literally, there are footprints painted on this strip and you'll go, you'll stand there at attention and all these upperclassmen will just tear into you and you know make you recite quotes and you know, ask you the seven basic responses, all these things that you're not gonna know, but they want you to know anyway. And uh, it's it just it intended to be a culture shock, essentially. <laughs> See their backpacks there right there in your left hand? That's all you're allowed to take with you is one single backpack. And you have to carry it in your left hand. That's screaming, oh my God. Those are those seven basic responses I was telling you. All right, this is a good look at that footprints I was telling you about. So you can see all the people in civilian clothes are the new basics, and then all the people in the uniforms are the cadre. Oh, and they just swarm you, literally just swarm you. And for me, when I was here, like, I don't know what it was, maybe it was just my bad luck, but I spent like a good hour on these footprints. I don't know, I kept getting cycled back to the next group. I don't think because I was getting anything wrong, it's just like I was always in the wrong spot, and so they kept losing track of me. But I had like a horrible time here. Oh. Look at them go.
Okay, looks like they've moved on from the footprints and they are learning how to pick up and put up, pick up and put down a backpack, I should say. Classic. <laughs> Moving on to the barber shop. Yes, you know, and I get a lot of questions about this to this day. You do have to shave your head at the Air Force Academy, but it's only for basic training, right? So once you graduate from basic training and through the rest of your four years, you can grow your hair out to military standards. But yeah, I mean, once you show up, when I came, I was out of high school and had this long head of hair. You gotta get it shaved to the bone. I guess to the scalp, I should say. Um, yeah, and for females, it's a little bit different. You know, you can keep your hair length. You can just tie it back, essentially. But the guys, yep, you're shaving that thing down. So they're continuing on with them processing here. You can see they're getting issued their gear. Those are ABUs, the old Air Force uniform. They're getting undershirts. They're getting boots here. Yep, boots here in a second. And Oh, and then if you look here in the left hand, that's a duffel bag. I actually still have my duffel bag actually back there somewhere, but this is, this is all your stuff that you have for the rest of the summer. And like I said, you have to keep it in your left hand. And the reason you can't use your right hand is because that's the saluting hand. So yeah, I mean, still to this day, I feel like my left hand is stronger than my right because of uh, all the stuff I had to carry at the Air Force Academy freshman year. All right, so moving on a little bit, this looks Maybe like, yep. Cadet, so that is General Air Williams Force. right here. He was actually there when I was there. He is the Commandant of the Air Force Academy. And they're doing their swearing in ceremony right here. So this is essentially just their time to take the oath of allegiance. Hey, yep, I'm a support and defend the Constitution. And they're officially kind of cadets in the Air Force at this point. Do you solemnly swear or affirm? I do the United States Air Force. Oh nice, I'll pause it right here. This is a good look at kind of the campus of the Air Force Academy. You can see it's right up against the mountains. You got the Cadet Chapel right there. It's beautiful. I mean, the hardest part of basic training for me was the fact that you're not allowed to look around, right? You have to keep your eyes locked. You can't look around. You gotta be strapped and or you get screamed at essentially. And I always just wanted to look around at the beautiful campus in the mountains, which, you know, luckily I had time to do for the rest of my three years or four years there, but uh, just beautiful. It looks like what this group is doing right now, they're kind of learning how to march, right? <laughs> yep, so I'll pause it again real quick. The way the basic training system is works at the Air Force Academy, it's, it's two separate kind of sections. So the first section is called First Beast, First BCT, and you're at the Academy campus like they are right now. You're learning how to march, you're learning how, how to salute, you're learning how to really do those simple military customs and courtesies. And then the second half is what's called Second Beast, and you go down to Jack's Valley, which is just a few miles north of the academy, and you're in kind of intense and more that deployed environment, which we'll see here in a little bit. But uh, yep, brings me back right here. First BCT, learning how to march. They can tighten those ranks up a little bit. So this is a good look at the Air Force Academy room, as you can see. <laughs> What's going on right now is it's called a room inspection. So essentially upperclassmen come in and they get their rulers out, they look for dust and they're grading you on your room and your cleanliness. Luckily, after you get through freshman year, your rooms can have a little more style, a little more personality to them. But what you're seeing right here is, is what it looks like all your freshman year. Like the dust. Like the dust. Like the dust. So yep, they got their rulers out right now. They are measuring to make sure the shirts are exactly, you know, what is it, 10 inches? Man. <clears throat> so this looks like intramurals right here, which is a really cool part of the academy. Yep, so what you can see is, um, even during basic training, the Air Force Academy makes you do what are called intramurals, right? So you're doing sports, whether it's basketball, flag football, soccer, ultimate frisbee, that type of thing. I really enjoyed this because it was a little bit of time to get away from the military environment and to just to have some friendly competition. So it's glad to see the basics out there having fun. <laughs> Back to the room, man. Room 10 hut, ma'am. Room 67 reports for inspection. All right, so it looks like right here, Yep, okay, so I'll pause it right here. They're doing the march down to what's called field day. So this skips forward a little bit, right? So like I said, the first part of BCT is three weeks long. This is the very last part of that first section. So they're already three weeks in right here. And what happens is, um, yep, skip forward a little bit. It's called field day. So you're competing against all the other basics. 
you know, the upperclassmen are joining into and you're doing like tug of war, you know, log runs, steeplechase, that type of stuff. And uh, it's really fun, you know, it's a good time to have some friendly competition and uh, just kind of, you know, relax a little bit maybe before you really get started for that second phase of basic training. And there's a the steeplechase. Fireman carries. <laughs> Log runs. This was fun. Nice. And so yeah, at the end of field day, you know, the, the best squadron, they get crowned the victor and it's really cool. So as you can see right here, and I'll start it again, this is the march to Jax, I believe. Yep, so right here, so they just finished their first phase of basic training like I was telling you guys about. And now they're in Jack's Valley. And Jack's Valley is a completely different animal than first BCT up on the hill. You can see right now what they're doing is they're in Tent City. So this is what they're living in. For the next three weeks, two to three weeks, you are living in a literal tent. And um, I wasn't too good at putting up tents, so I had to have some of my class, upper um, upperclassmen and I guess other classmates help out. But uh, <laughs> there you go, hammering in the stakes. And yeah, it's kind of a simulated deployed environment here, you know, you're out in the field, you're out there in the, in the dirt. <laughs> and you're doing a lot of this stuff right here. So each day you wake up and you have a different activity to do and it looks like they're going through the obstacle course right now. So, you know, you're shimmying the ropes across water, you're doing like low crawls through barbed wire, jumping over barriers, that type of thing. Upperclassmen leading a little PT, lots of PT at the Air Force Academy. And so as you notice with all of these, you're not really ever doing exercises by yourself. Like a big part of what the Air Force Academy tries to emphasize is like team building. And so you are usually going through it with your classmates, which is nice. It helps you out a little bit. You can kind of look to them for support. And, uh, oh my gosh, so much PT at the Academy doing basic training. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm asking for a quote right there. You gotta recite quotes in literally the most inopportune positions. Okay, so they've shifted here. What we were looking at earlier was the obstacle course, and this is what's called the assault course. Now, oh my gosh, the assault course is one of those like infamous things at the Air Force Academy. It's like this 45 minute, like an hour long course where you're, you know, you're crawling in the dirt. You've got a rifle with you, helmet, mouth guard. You're going under barbed wire while uh, like throughout the entire thing, you're getting screamed at by upperclassmen. They have grenades going off. They have red smoke that's supposed to intimidate you. And this was grueling, I'm not gonna lie. You have to do it multiple times at the academy during basic training. So I feel for these basics right here. Here's a good look at the course. Just how dirty their uniforms are. That gives you any indication of what the assault course is like. I hated low crawls. If you haven't low crawled before, I challenge you to go outside and, and just crawl like that with a rifle. It's not fun. I will say real quick, I had a chance when I was an upperclassman, like this person in the black hat right there, to kind of be on the other side of it. And it's a lot more fun, obviously, when you're an upperclassman kind of doing the training and doing the leading. And you really see that it's just all kind of like a big game, right? You know, you're rooting for the basics, like you want to build them up, but it's all part of the process. And um, it is cool that the academy is one of those places that you go through it as a freshman. And then once you're a junior or a senior, you have the opportunity to be on the flip side and actually lead the training yourself. Doing some grenades right there. Oh gosh, okay. So if you, I'll pause this right here. If you see what she's doing, they're going through a low crawl in this trench full of water. And I'm not gonna lie, when I had to do that, like I don't know what it was, but it smelled horrible. I don't know what had been done to that water, what had put into it. 
been put into it. But when I came out at the end, I was like, I don't ever want to do that again. This gives me serious PTSD right now. <laughs> There's that red smoke I was telling you about. It's just there to intimidate you. Then the only the strong survive. That's kind of that infamous sign for the assault course at the very end. You see all their classmates cheering them on. It's pretty cool. Nice. So what you're looking at right here is uh, what's called Big Bad Basic. And this is a cool opportunity. You can see all the, the basic lining it around the arena right there. And you put on gear, you put on padding, and you really just get these pugil sticks and you try to knock the other person out. Not literally, you just kind of got to hit them and you get a point and two points you win. And um, you get to compete against different people and whoever's the last person standing at the end is crowned the big bad basic. So it's just kind of one of those camaraderie events. and It's pretty fun. <laughs> Oh, well, that's pretty cool. So if you see in the background, they actually have a CV-22 and Osprey right there. Um, so that's something else that, that's unique to the Air Force Academy is throughout basic training, they'll bring in different speakers, they'll have different flyovers, different aircraft come in and kind of to give those basics an opportunity to see what's out there in the Air Force. Like, hey, if you make it through this, you can have an opportunity to fly these yourself. So that's pretty cool that they brought one of those out for the basics to see. Now, if you're wondering if I myself was the big bad basic and won this, nah, I got knocked out in like the first round. <laughs> it was not my thing. Baddest basic, female. And male. Basic cadet George from Hellcat. All right. Congrats to the big bad basics. Sweet, so yeah, right now they are at the Catam range. So this is a really cool opportunity. I had actually never shot a gun before I went to the academy. So it's an opportunity for the cadets to just kind of get their hands dirty, get a little introduction to marksmanship. And so you come out to the range here and you get to fire at different targets. And if you actually do well, you can qualify for the expert marksman badge, which you get to wear on your uniform for the rest of your career. So just another example of a cool opportunity you get to do. You know, not everything in basic training is like super boring or super, you know, physically exhausting. You get some cool opportunities as well. Okay, looks like they're marching back from Jack's Valley. So finish that up. And yep. So this is the uh, this is the acceptance day parade, right? This is very memorable day for me. I still remember it very. Uh, very fondly. If you look in the background, those are all parents, family, friends. They are allowed to come in for this. And it signifies the end of basic training. So they finished six weeks and they are ready to get accepted into the cadet wing. Now, if you look at their shoulder boards right here, as you can see, they, they don't have any rank on. And um, that's because they haven't earned it yet, right? But that's what this ceremony is for. So here in a second, we'll see them get their official shoulder boards put on. Yep, so you got everything, all the formalities of an official military parade. Fourth class, the acceptance parade, and the color guard the pass. Their ranks and files, their marching's looking a lot better than it did in that first clip we watched. And the beginning of their cadet careers as members of a permanent squadron in the Air Force Cadet Wing. Shout out to the Killer Cobra Squadron 14. I was actually in that squadron for basic myself, so it's pretty cool to see that. And just like I was saying, right, so they're getting their shoulder boards put on. You get to actually choose one of your upperclassmen to do it for you. It's really special. Definitely well earned for sure. <laughs> it's awesome to be able to have your family out there to see it and get to spend a little bit of time with them. and. All right, so that brings us to the end there. I mean, you can see there's so much that goes into basic training at the Air Force Academy, but it's kind of ironic because while it signifies the end and you know, it's definitely a time to celebrate, the process is really just beginning because now you've got four years at the Academy as a full-time cadet taking rigorous academic classes, other military training, before you're able to graduate and be that officer in the Air Force. But uh, hopefully that gives you kind of a little bit of a look into what you would go through if you are a cadet at the Air Force Academy. If you guys have any questions about the Academy or the military in general, I encourage you to drop a comment below and you can give me a follow on my Instagram right here where I post content about my experiences in the military.
Thanks so much for tuning in, everyone. I wish you all the best, and I'll make sure to see you in the next video.